Okay, next we will look at the third function that we use to describe random variables, which is the probability density function, in short, the PDF. The PDF is defined as the derivative of the CDF, as given here. And observe that the CDF, uh, especially of a continuous random variable, is differentiable almost everywhere. What does almost everywhere mean? Well, you can look at the examples that we have just seen. This function is a continuous function. It's continuous everywhere, but it's not differentiable everywhere because it has breaking points here. And actually, it's not really differentiable in, in the classical definition at these two points. However, apart from those two, it's a differentiable function everywhere. And we define the probability density function of a continuous random variable as the derivative of the CDF function. So why do we use the PDF function? What's its significance? We, we already have the CDF. Why, do not, why don't we work with the CDF all the time and have a need to define the PDF? What really is the PDF? Now let's look at the probability of a random variable uh, X being in the vicinity of some value x0. We will write this as the, the probability of random variable x being in the vicinity of x0 as the probability of x being in the interval x0 to x0 plus h. So this is the real line. And this is x0 here. And this is x0 plus h. So this interval is of length h. But h here is a very small quantity, a, di a differential unit, if you like, okay? And we take h to zero. So you um, are looking at the probability of x being in a very, very small and infinitesimal interval at x zero. Now, by definition, I can write this probability as, uh, as the limit h goes to zero, the CDF of X at this value minus the CDF of X at X zero. And now I'm going to multiply and divide this quantity by H. I can do that because I'm taking the limit as H goes to zero since H is not zero itself. I'm just taking the limit so I can divide it by H. But you see this here by the definition of derivative, is equal to the derivative of the CDF at x0, okay? Which means by definition, it's the PDF value of random variable x at x0, okay? So the probability of the random variable x being in vicinity of x0 is proportional to the PDF value of random variable x at that point. So what this means is the PDF represents the density of the probability around each possible value. And this actually means how likely it is to observe random variable X around uh, parameter X. So this in a sense gives you a relative likelihood. So the PDF function signifies how likely of you to observe um, random variable X at certain points. So the larger the PDF value, um, the, the, the more likely that you will observe random variable at that region. And that makes sense because by definition, the PDF is the derivative of the CDF and the PDF being large means the CDF has a large change around that value, which means you are adding a much more probability around that value to the CDF as the cumulative sum, which means there are uh, that there is a larger probability around that value. So it makes sense um, from that perspective also. Now let's look at the same example and how we, we obtain the PDF here. You see, our CDF was this function between um, negative infinity and one, it was zero and beyond 10, it's one. And in between, it's a linear function. 
uh, x minus one divided by 10, uh, sorry, divided by nine. So the slope of this, this portion, uh, well, is, is the derivative by definition. The slope of a line is its derivative. And in this case, it's constant. If you take the derivative of this, x minus one over nine, it's one over nine. So the PDF of this random variable is constant between one and 10, which fits perfectly with our assumption of this being an equal probable outcome random experiment. Recall the first definition, how we wrote this random variable. You select a random real number in the interval from one up to 10, uh, which are all equal probable. So that is reflected in the PDF. Recall for a discrete random variable, if you have uh, the PMF, it would be something like this. All PMF values equal. Okay, and in the continuous case, that is reflected in the PDF. The PDF is flat here, which means all points are equally likely because just recall the discussion of what PDF actually means. It gives you a relative likelihood of each possible outcome. You see um, below one and above 10, the derivative is zero because you see the CDF are CDF values are constant, therefore their derivatives are zero, which means um, outcomes in those regions are not likely at all. You wouldn't expect to see an outcome below one or above 10, which fits perfectly with our definition of this random variable. And in between one and 10, the PDF is flat, therefore you expect to see any outcome in that region equally likely with all other possible outcomes. And in fact, um, we call this special distribution the uniform random variable.